You're listening to 101.8 WING. Up next is WING's holiday radio spectacular, Merry Bright Light Season, brought to you by Mr. Chicker's Corn Dogs. But first, a brief news break from our very own Khufu. This is Khufu, six time Poultry Award winner for breaking news. We've had birds calling in with complications of aiming on cars due to the wind. So save the dookie for a better day. Thank you, Khufu. And now for this evening's holiday radio program. WING proudly presents Merry Bright Light Season, starring Luckle Ducklebird, Foul Owl, Speck, and the entire WING family. Narrated by Christopher John Featherstone. Twas the night before Christmas not long ago. Jaybird Street was covered in snow. Blankets of white sparkling and glistening. Carolers singing as the families were listening. All down the street was decor all around, tinsel and snowmen all through the town. The houses in wreaths, ribbons and bows, from basements to rooftops the bright lights did glow. They shimmered, sparkled, and oh how they danced, leaving all of the humans in a glittering trance. But one little bird, part dodo, part other, was not having this. Ha! You got that right, brother. His name was Luckle, and he needed some shut-eye. The lights were too bright for this poor little guy. I could have migrated, flown south for the season. Instead, I am here where there's lights for no reason. You humans are selfish, and you don't think of others. We birds need our sleep. You've stolen our druthers! Luckle paced on the branch as snow fell from the sky. He then noticed Speck perched on a branch nearby. Speck was playing with matches and watching them burning. We don't condone that, but my thoughts are all turning. The wind blew out Speck's match, and away went the light. Knuckle's <laughs> idea began to ignite. His troubling insomnia was shared with his friends. W-I-N-G, where our story extends. The boss, Mr. Chickers, Scrooge-like ways, made their migrating plans go up in a blaze. He made them work, and without a vacation, they were so-called needed for shows at the station. Gather round, birdlings, I have an idea. We'll steal all the bright lights and get sleep this year. If we all work together and pull our own weight, we'll shut off those lights and set humans straight. The birds stared at Luckle, weary and confused. They too lacked sleep and wanted to snooze. Half, half said Fowl as he stuck out oh. his chest. Your bright light idea is the one I detest. It's not well thought out, smart, quick, or witty. What? And Luckle, you fool, I am without pity. Ugh. You always expect us to drop what we're doing to help you with plans that we end up undoing. Well, now it... Just let it be. Leave the humans their lights. Mm. There is no need for a wing and a fist fight. And enough with all the rhyming, the silly goose. Who do you think you are, Dr. Seuss? <laughs> Why can't I stop rhyming? <laughs> I'm sure it's all in timing. <laughs> End this now. Not another word. You're really being absurd. He could not bear it, all these horrible rhymes. So he peeked out the door and shouted this line. Stop this incessant rhyming! I mean it! Yeah, anybody want a peanut? <laughs> <laughs> you dweebs think you're cute, but I know someone whom which will dispute. Nope, I'm not even going to address the fact that I just rhymed. Nope, not gonna do it. No! Balao shook his head and went on his way. But, but wait! Luckle shouted. I have something to say! <laughs> we'll unplug the glitter, we'll unplug the glow. Heck, why stop there? The power must go! I like that idea. I like it a lot. Thanks, Khufu. Let's stick to the plot. Luckle, how could we? That's just far too rude. I think it rocks! Way to go, dude! Giblets, go to the power plant and throw all the switches. We'll unplug the lights and then <laughs> take them with us. They'll be without power, they'll be without lights, and after all that, we can finally sleep tight. 
We'll return to Merry Bright Light Season in just a moment. This broadcast is brought to you by the makers of Kitty Repellent, keeping kitties away for 25 years. Are you tired of being mangled and ripped to shreds by a feline? Maybe. Well, now all those worries can be over with Stool Pigeon's new Kitty Repellent. Just spray, fly, and watch how the kitties ignore you completely. Made from real skunk juice, this spray will keep any cat away. Do not spray an eye or will cause blindness and possible brain damage. This is Kesmo Peapod. And this is Dylan Quailstein. Catch us every afternoon with Kesmo and Dylan in the afternoon. Awesome title. Here on 101.8 W-I-N-G. Nice teamwork. We now return you to Merry Bright Light Season. Giblets flew to the power plant far, far away. He chugged along and snorted as usual. <laughs> okay. All the while, Fowl gave the plan a glitch by tattling to the boss and being a snitch. You b- b- birds are in trouble. I know what you're doing. I just found out what plans you have b- b- brewing. This b- b- bright light plan is a waste of time. Get b- 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 back to work and quit with the rhyme. But, but Mr. Chicker. Luck completed. We've counted the sheep. It's the bright lights outside that keep us from sleep. <laughs> with this plan, you see, we'll finally get rest. Forbidding us to migrate? Well, then we'll just act like pests. If you want good workers, then give us this night to take out every one of those stupid bright lights. The birds celebrated and cheered luck along. But Chica put his foot down to prove luck or wrong. I will not have this. No way, no how. Get back to work. Dude, don't have a cow. Don't you see, Luckle? This is a sign. But those humans have really crossed the line. You're getting yourself into a horrible mess. And the outcome of this will not be a success. Luckle scoffed at his aunt and (laughs) turned away. Fine, but don't come to me when this all doesn't go your way. Chicka mumbled and bumbled as he left the lobby, while Foul Owl stood proud, stout, and snobby. Then he went to the booth to do his show, thinking he foiled Luckle. But he did it, you know. Let me tell the tale. Hey, pal, I'm Dylan Quail. I know, I know. Now exit the scene. Steen. <clears throat> the bird sighed and went back to work. Luckle then exclaimed, That chicken's a jerk. Luckle's quest for sleep would not be lost. This heist need be over before the next frost. He later caught Chica sleeping and Foul Owl dozing. Luckle's thoughts began composing. He locked Chica in the office and Foul Owl in the booth, tying lights to the doorknobs, then left to sleuth. They stole lamps, night lights, and other bright things. If it glimmered or sparkled, it went under their wings. Sure, what they were doing to them seemed right. Even Kesmo took out all the refrigerator lights. Giblets flipped all the switches, buttons, and knobs, but one switch he saw would really do the job. It was the granddaddy of all the switches that would reach the bird's goal. A blackout occurred beyond the human's control. The humans found Jayboat Street cold and dreary. Their decor was stolen, and their Christmas spirit was weary. It's done. Giblet said, Not a light in sight. No bright lights at all, and to all a good night. The birds cheered, groaned, and slunk to their nests. But the humans' missing decor caused the birds to lose rest. The humans were arguing, bickering, and yelling, awaking the birds as the noise continued swelling. Why are the lights gone, Todd? Luckle peeked out his window to see in the yard. His feathered friends arguing as the bickering jarred. He flew down to calm them and find out the troubles. Little did he know they were about to pop his bubble. What the heck is going on down here? I thought sleep was what we wanted. Didn't I make that clear? The birds turned on Knuckle for the noise was his fault. You did this to us. Put that noise to a halt. Lights were bright. But at least those were quiet. I, I, I was trying to help. No! I don't buy it. I I didn't mean for things to end up this way. Whatever. You fail! Why don't you just go, go away? (laughs) Uncle stood in the cold, puzzled, confused. With his ego wounded, anguished, and bruised. 
How's this my fault? This doesn't make sense. My friends are blaming me under false pretense. Luckle peeked around the house to see the humans in the street, still arguing and yelling. Doesn't this claim our defeat? But the humans were freezing without any heat. My poor little Cecile Zatman was getting cold feet. Luckle soon realized the mess he had made. With that, his anger, bitterness began to fade. Oh, how could this happen? How could this be? Did all of this happen because of little old me? Luckle, sweetheart, his Aunt Frances said. I know you meant well. But have you lost your head? Stealing their bright lights was just plain wrong. And trust me, Luckle, this has taken far too long. By now, we could be sleeping and ignoring the lights. Instead, you stole them, and well, well, that's just not right. Give back the bright lights. It's the right thing to do. I, I, I thought you were mad. I couldn't stay mad at you. But why are the lights so precious to them? They blink, they're bright, annoying, and... Um, oh, ooh, what rhymes with them? Ah, uh, stem, gem, condemn... Oh, wow, this is really awkward. Okay, we'll let that one slide. Uh, keep going. Every season, the humans put up the lights. I guess it makes them happy and their spirits bright. Uncle realized his actions were that of a Grinch. He sighed and he moaned. Oh, son of a finch. Uncle assumed what the humans' bright lights represent. A time of giving, loving, a time well spent. These humans will freeze or, or even get sick, and I've got to fix this wrongdoing, and I've got to fix it fast. I mean, <clears throat> I've got to do it quick. We'll return to Merry Bright Light Season after a word from our sponsors. Hi, I'm Miss Dicker, and I'm going to let you in on a fancy little secret. I have discovered a new found fangled food, and it's fantastic. It's called a corn dog. What is this wonderful new thing that's come into our lives? It's a breaded wiener on a stick. What more do you want? Corn dog. Bread and wiener on a stick. What more do you want? We now return you to the conclusion of Merry Bright Light Season. Buckle did not see Christmas as humans do through their eyes. On that day, he felt the spirit and love that Christmas supplies. Buckle switched the power back on to end the blackout. He was fixing his wrongdoings without a doubt. Luckle returned the human's bright lights, making everything almost just right. Luckle, did you put back all the lights? I did. I brought them all back here to the Zutman house. I figured if I put them all back here, then all the humans on Jaybird Street would come and get them. I'm sure Wally will understand. It just seemed easier for them, you know? Uh, besides, I don't know what bulb goes where. <laughs> well, at least your heart was in the right place. Thanks, Auntie Franny. And, and you know how we did all this in one night? I'll really never know. Hey, listen. The rhyming stopped. You know, I'm gonna kinda miss having a narrator telling me my every move. Molly, stop me! Come on, put your hands up! You're under arrest! What is this? You're under arrest for alleged burglary. And with all these lights on your house, you're creating a dangerous fire hazard. What are you talking about? Oh. My. God. It's happening again. Something beyond my control is doing these things to me. Harriet! You've got to tell them I was with you and the kids the whole time. To tell them! But how did these get on our house? It doesn't make sense. Exactly! I did not steal any of these decorations, officer. The whole, na the whole neighborhood was without power, and, and our decorations were gone earlier, and now they're back. You know what this is, sir? You know what this is? <laughs> You're gonna laugh. It's a Christmas miracle! A Christmas miracle! <laughs> yes! Mr. Zutman, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say will be- I know, be I know. I've watched cops. Come on, kids. Let's go see if Santa will bail Daddy out of prison. <laughs> Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! <laughs> And so ends our tale of thieving and treason. Of this the tale, the birds' merry bright light season. Merry bright lights, you humans! <laughs> <laughs>